Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm so thankful you stopped by for a visit today. It is day 19th of my December advent. Yes, I'm behind a couple of days, but it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I'm not stressing about it. Um, I hope you're all having a great day. It is freezing cold here in Louisiana, and we are not used to that. I know if you live up north or you know Canada Alaska and other places that are super cold um, we probably sound like a bunch of whiny babies <laughs> over the cold and yes we are because we are not used to these temps I mean like last week we were in like the 80s and this week we're supposed to be down to like 11 degrees and it is so cold. It's not that quite that cold right now. We're supposed to have a uh, hard freeze <clears throat> tomorrow. And, um, yeah, we're just not used to that here in Louisiana. Um, sometimes on Christmas Day, we've been known to have the AC on. Because, it, you know, it's really warm. And so, and, you know, we're in shorts and flip-flops on Christmas Day is our norm most of the time um but it is cold <laughs> we are not we are not equipped for that i've had my hands in the hand warmers all day but you can see i have no blood flow in in those fingers and even this thumb over here that white like that that means no blood flow so i've had my hands in um my hand warmer things all day long today and that's why I'm so late making a video, because I've just been too cold to come and do it. But then I talked myself into it. I was like, okay, I gotta go make a video. <laughs> so today I am drinking hot chocolate. Um, it came from this box right here. I have this box that I've been sampling all month. And each, you know whenever i'm using this box i just pull one out and it's a surprise what i get in the box says it comes with coffee tea or hot chocolates and it's just like a sampler box there's 30 of these k-cups in here and um it's just all different brands and so anyway i've just been pulling one out and the one i pulled out today was milk chocolate hot chocolate <clears throat> and it tastes really good. I hope it warms me up. <laughs> but it is tasting really well. Whew. So I finished putting that brown on my wrap. And a couple of people did say the red and then that brown remind them of um chocolate covered strawberries and i love that i love that thank you for saying that because it totally does right yes so i'll always think of that <laughs> so let's see what color i got today if you're new here and you don't know each day i'm opening a little baggie that my oldest son dakota prepared for me <clears throat> and so I'm getting these little baggies and we are getting a surprise color that I'm adding to my wrap. This is a wrap that I'm making that's just like the one I have on. It, it's solid in the back and that's the part I'm working on is the back panel coming up. And then it'll split to two sides like this, two panels. And I'm not going by any measurements. I'm just going to keep going until... It gets long enough to go from my shoulders down to probably the back of my knees. And, I mean, I haven't measured or held it up against me because I know it's not long enough yet. But it'll get there. So this project may carry on over to um, January some. And that's okay. So, day 19 of working on my route. And, let's see what color I'm going to be adding. And I'm saving the baggies because we're going to start this over with more yarn. And I told him, don't put any surprises in the next batch because he's done enough. <laughs> and I also told him he better be counting this as my Christmas present uh, because he's put a little surprise in every bag. 
which I was not expecting. This is a pretty, pretty pink. It's not a pale pastel pink, and it's not like a neon pink. It's just a really pretty pink. So that will go really good next to that brown. I like pink and brown together. I like green and pink together, and I like, for that brown, I like like an ice blue and brown together, but this pink will look good with it. So I'm going to tie this on to my brown right here. Let's see. Uh, and I still forgot to get my little scissors. They're on the other side of the table. I have to remember that. I thought about it as I was getting my stuff together to get those scissors. And then, <laughs> then my mind went elsewhere. All right. Tying a knot with cold, numb hands is kind of hard. <laughs> it's a little bit hard, but I'm, I'm making it work. And there was a little surprise in here. It's cute, too. <laughs> oh, a static, static cling, I guess. It's this little doll. Friends forever. Hmm. Cute little doll. Oh, on the back. Let me see what it says. Collect them all. It shows four little dolls on the back. Huh. Well... That's cute. She's a cute little girl. Let me see if I can open her. Well, what you know, the package incorporate. <laughs> oh wait, here I got her. Uh, Dakota knows I like setting up little scenes and doing little things, so he always gets me little things like that when he comes across stuff. Cute. Her arms move and her legs move too. Yeah. Why is it she cute? She's a cute little girl. Hmm. Well, thanks, Dakota. Her pink hair. See if I can get this in the garbage can over here. Whew. Okay, so on the brown, I did. A double crochet in every stitch and I did that for two rows and then the brown ran out so um, that's how far it went right there and here is how this is looking so far it's it's growing it's growing <laughs> let me see let me put my crochet strap on This is the strap that um, Cinnamon Stitches Jennifer sent me, and it is working great, no problems, and I just stick my crochet hook in right here, and then I can crochet. I have other straps too that I'm also using for different size hooks. And so, and they're working fine. So, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, appreciate everyone's thoughts and prayers. And, yeah, but it's, it's going good. So, I'm just going to finish off this little row with double crochet in every stitch. And then I'm going to turn the row and start a new stitch. And it's kind of a stitch sampler type thing and I'm just I'm not doing anything um, any kind of sequence or anything like that I'm just doing different stitches no rhyme or reason stress free just get it done oh this pink looks good on this brown I like that I like it a lot so, some some people have asked me, how did we come up with our boys' names? So, I 
thought I would share that today if you're interested in knowing that. Um, it is a little, it is kind of interesting. Our, let me, let me get these three stitches done then I can turn and start my new stitch. So, yep, last, no, I got two more. Okay. And one more. And I'm going to chain one. Ooh, don't that pink look good? Okay. Whew. I need to pull this around on me. <laughs> okay. Um, so I chained one and I'm going to double crochet in that very, very first stitch. Oh. Okay. And then I think I will skip two stitches. And in the third stitch, I'm going to put three stitches for a granny cluster. So this row will be a granny stitch row. One. Two. And. Three. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yep. So that's what I'm going to do all down this row is skip two and in the third put a granny cluster one two yep okay so back to our boys well with Dakota um, I was sick throughout my whole pregnancy with him like very very sick in and out of the hospital a whole lot I was in the hospital sick when I found out I was even pregnant with him and um, and so, so at some point during my pregnancy, I was at, I don't know if I was at the doctor's office or the hospital, but the doctor herself did an ultrasound and she said, I'm not for sure, but I think it may be a curl. So um, Jody ran with that. Even though I did say, she said she's not for sure. And he's like, oh, she said it's a girl. So we picked out a name, Victoria Nicole. And that's what we was going to name the baby. And, um, you know, we had all kinds of dresses and girly stuff. And then five weeks early, my water broke. And so... I was in the hospital and then they ended up taking him by um, C-section and so um, he was in the NICU and after I had him the next morning they said well after a while we'll let you go down to the NICU and see your baby because I hadn't even seen him and so I was like, well, I'm ready to go now. And so I got up and I'm trying to go right after having a C-section. <laughs> so they got a wheelchair and they took me on down. And he looked so pitiful when they took me in there. He had just IVs, tubes, and all this stuff. He had a lot of trouble breathing. And um, I was just... I was so upset. I was just sitting there crying. I was in, you know, sitting in the wheelchair and I could reach over to where he was and basically I could just pet him with one finger. He was so tiny. He weighed um, five pounds, but he was really tiny looking. And um, the nurse said to me, are y'all going to call him Morgan or Dakota? 
And I'm just crying. I'm like, where did you get those names? <laughs> I thought she'd have named my baby. <laughs> but Big Daddy did while I was asleep. He named the him Morgan Dakota. And so we we just instantly called him Dakota. We never called him Morgan his whole life. And actually he is named Morgan after the Earp brothers, Morgan Earp. Yeah, you know the Elijah Wyatt, the Earp brothers. So he is named after Morgan Earp. So he is Morgan Dakota. Um, and we never called him Morgan. We never used that name whatsoever. I know sometimes moms use a first name and middle name when kids are in trouble or something. I never did that. I just never used the name Morgan at all. And when he started college, that was the first time he ever went to school. And he was sitting there in class when college first started. And the teacher kept saying, Morgan Miller, Morgan Miller. And Dakota was like, I guess they're not here. And then he never called Dakota's name. And then it dawned on Dakota. He was Morgan Miller. <laughs> so after class, he had to go tell the professor that he was Morgan Miller. And he wasn't used to going by that name. So it didn't dawn on him. <laughs> so that's how Dakota got his name. And then... Um, Seven years later, when we got pregnant with Elijah, I wanted to name him after my mother's father, which was Ezra. And um, I never met the man. He died when my mom was a little girl, so I didn't know him. But I just wanted to kind of carry on the name. So I was thinking Ezra, and then, you know, was trying to figure out names to go with that. And then... Um, Somehow Ezra morphed into Elijah, and then the middle name morphed, you know, just all of a sudden came up that was Wyatt. So we had Morgan Earp, and now we had Wyatt Earp. So that's how my boys got their names. They are named after the Earp brothers, because Jody was a cowboy. He was, you know, watched cowboy shows. Actually, he grew up without TV at all. Um, his mom wouldn't allow them to have a TV. Um, and I grew up a lot without TV, too, in my youngest years. It wasn't until I got older that we even had a TV. Um, and it was religious issues, you know. The, the church didn't believe in TV. So... Big Daddy didn't grow up with TV, and so as he got older and was able to have a TV, or he would come and watch with his grandfather, they would watch cowboy shows, and he, you know, like the Earp Brothers, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but we ended up with two Earp boys, Morgan and White Earp. So, that's how my boys got their names. It's kind of odd. I think. <laughs> okay, and some people have asked how I got the name Llama Llama Kayla. Well, I don't know. Um, my boys picked that. Actually, at the time, in our homeschool group, little kids referred to me as Sugar Mama. And that's what they called me, was Sugar Mama. And I don't know why we didn't go with that. I have no idea. But when... Um, Dakota was setting up my channel. And actually, my channel is... He made a channel for me a long, long, long time ago. And wanted me to do a YouTube channel, but I didn't want to. He wanted me to do a YouTube channel about homeschooling. But I didn't want to. And we put out a few uh, light book videos that Dakota made me do. <laughs> And I never did anything else with the channel. And so he took that same channel and just changed the name to Llama Mama Kayla. 
um, I think we were trying to come up with something that would kind of rhyme. I don't know. Somehow or another, we came up with that between me, Dakota, and Elijah. Brainstorming names that day, that's what we came up with. So that's how I got Mama Mama Kayla. And it's just been that way. <laughs> been that way ever since. So anyway, well, this pink is looking so great against that brown oh it looks delish don't it I love that so pretty so pretty well guys I'm going to let you all get going I'm gonna go back in there to my desk and finish working on this and drink my hot chocolate over here try to get warm with my heater because it's so cold <laughs> And I will see you all again tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. And um, stay warm if it's cold where you are. And stay cool if it's hot where you are. Um, I'm going to try my best to stay warm. <laughs> Bye, friends. I will see you all later.